What's up everybody? Thanks so much for stopping by to watch another video. This is Alan with Fernandez Affordable Products. On today's video guys, I have with me a unique monitor. I'm actually really excited to open this up and show you guys. Um, this is going to be the one for now that I'm going to be setting up here in the office. Um, and this is going to be the UHD monitor from Samsung. This is a uh, IPS panel, uh, HDR. This thing is going to run 4K. Um, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. It's a 28 inch, which is the UR55. So as always guys, we're going to unbox it. We're going to see what's on the inside. I'm also going to talk about the design on this monitor. I think this is going to be amazing to see because it's featuring that bezel-less uh, frame. And that's something that I'm really, really interested to see on my desk. It's uh, known as the three-sided bezel-less design. You wait till you see it. It's really amazing. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about the box. We'll unbox it. I'll also talk about the specs on this monitor, what it can do. What I also like to do is I'll set it on my IKEA white desk and then we'll throw at some show and uh, probably hop on a game and, you know, play a video and just kind of run through some applications and see how it responds. So if you're interested, guys, because you're looking into the monitor like this, it is affordable, something that I definitely recommend. Uh, please keep watching. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to my uh, video content, please subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. All right, guys, um, let's go ahead and do this. The very first thing that I want to talk about about this box is really the obvious. And I've mentioned this on many of my videos, which is illustration, product showcasing, um, and you'll see that on this video. I can see almost what I'm getting, right? I can see the uh, type of design this is. It is Samsung. I see the legs. doesn't really give me a color illustration, but for the most part, it's giving me something. Even here, I can see that this is going to be a very elegant uh, design. This monitor really, really going to be amazing based on what I looked at. So overall, I give the box at least a six. I'm excited to see what's inside here. This one in particular, and I do this only sometimes, uh, these are the kind of monitors they are selling, they are affordable, uh, yet um, Samsung, uh, for some reason, I believe, if I'm correct, because I looked at a few, had discontinued the sale of this monitor because they're focusing on their newer models. So I had to get this uh, from another seller uh, that was somewhat still reliable, had good feedback. Uh, you'll see here that we have part of the stand, uh, which is part of what we're going to use to mount the monitor. So we'll take that out. We also have our power cable. That's definitely uh, something that we need and that is present. So I really like to see that. So the next thing, which is also included, great, great condition, uh, is the stand that's gonna be part of this assembly, as you can see right here, right? We're going to be mounting those two together. And then of course, in the inside here, we have our monitor, we'll go ahead and inspect that in just a moment here. And for the most part, that's what you should expect to see inside the box. All right, so what we're gonna do now is together, we're going to assemble uh, the monitor so that you can kind of know how it's done as well. From here, I wanna open this thing, take the wrapper out and it, it shows you, you know, uh, when you look at a great deal, people care while others don't. And that's when they get my business. So a monitor like this being affordable and no longer being sold, you know, you gotta be careful who you get it from because you wanna get a good deal. And based on the details of the product and based on the seller, I thought that I'd be basically getting something uh, in great, great condition. And in fact, I can see that that's likely going to be the case. 
All right, so something to keep in mind, which I'm noticing here, and you may or may not need this, but just in case you're asking, it does have these little stickers here, and when you remove it, you slide it in place, it allows it to basically not come off easily. You're welcome to leave it on there, which for right now, I will, because as long as you're not moving the monitor around, it's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to slide these two pins in there first like this. Actually, from down, right? Just kind of flat. We're going to slide it in place. Like that. That's it. Yep. That's all we had to do. And then now the very last thing we're going to do here is we're going to place this piece uh, this way. I'm just kill it. Bring the box out just a little bit. Right? Just put that piece right there like that. And then we're going to tighten it. All right, so when we look at the back, guys, you can see it's got a great finish. It's got that matte black, right, look to the color. If I bring you a little closer, it does have a characteristic uh, on the back of the black here. You can see it, right? It's got this sort of texture that's uh, very nice. I see the logo right here in the uh, monitor, the Samsung logo, as well as the sticker, right? And um, everything, everything is really, really nice on the back. I do like the all black back here. Personally, when we look at the design, I would have liked to see the um, gray sort of logo that you've seen Samsung provide on some of their products. I would have wanted to see that there, but for the most part, it's not a deal breaker, right? It's going to be on the back there anyways. When you look at the size uh, uh, of this monitor and look at the thickness, this is going to feature that flat screen design, right? You can see that the overall thickness on something like this is just amazing. Definitely, definitely looks great. And this U-shape of the stand really just gives it more of an elegant look. Even from the front here, you can see that is beautiful. This is going to look great on the white desk that I have from Ikea. Another thing that I really, really liked about this particular monitor, besides everything else that we'll talk about, is that it's got this vintage gray uh, bezel here on the bottom to really allow it to separate from the three bezel uh, and then you have the Samsung logo right on the front and the u-shape guys you can see on the back here it allows for that cable to kind of travel through there and allows it to stay in place so that unique part of the stand uh, is good I really like that design detail that they added on there from the front and, and again we're going to look at this from the desk level and see what it looks like. But that U-shaped leg really, really just helps it look amazing if you can see it for yourself. All right, guys, so I got it here on my desk uh, and it's starting to really, really look awesome. Um, I wanna kinda show you really quick before I turn it on and put it to the test and all of that, what, what it's gonna offer you so you kinda see uh, for yourself on the back of the uh, monitor um, you're going to have several connections you'll have uh, over here and by the way look how the cable nicely fit right inside that and that really allows it to stay in place you have your power connector right here right you have a uh, what looks to be uh, service it's a, a USB connection and then you have a display port, it looks like, right here. And then two HDMIs. And then he also offers an audio-like connection. And if I'm correct, I'm going to put it to the test right now, is instead of connecting your speakers, like say, to the desktop or laptop, in this example, desktop, um, you'll just run that to the speaker and then considering that you are connected using the HDMI, that will then enable the audio. So let's go ahead and place it just right here on the desk. There you go, allow the cable to travel on its own. 
There you have it. Really love, guys. I really love this uh, Y U shape sort of stand. Really, really makes it look elegant. It's just beautiful. All right. So another thing that I also want to kind of point out really quick while we're here is um, that if you're like me, you're going to be using your webcam to stream and whatnot. It offers you just the right fitting right above here for you to be able to sit it on like this, right? Allowing you to kind of place it nicely. It does give you just enough separation from the screen and the bezel, just enough to not allow the webcam to touch. Let's rest it back there, center it. And again, even with the webcam, it really looks Amazing. I really love how that looks. The Y-U-shaped stand is just really, really beautiful. And on top of that, you add it on the white desk. It really, really goes well together. All right, so last thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and feature our Logitech um, G915, if I'm correct, Nine fifth, uh, nine fifteen. Yep, light speed wireless RGB keyboard. We're going to be featuring that on our setup here, as well as we got here next to me. I got the Logitech um, G seven o three gaming mouse, also RGB. We're going to be featuring that on a setup like this. It just really gives everything. And overall, beautiful, beautiful look. We're going to have to power it on. You'll see that there's a little button right here in the middle. should be able to just kind of push that in. And even closely, if you look, bring your little closer to the bottom there. There's an LED light on the bottom indicating that is on. It's got power. We might just need to turn it on. So let's see that. We're going to go ahead and press it. And... Allow it to turn on. Wow. Wow. That is beautiful. So if you look at it, let's talk a little bit about some of the step, steps on this. This is an IPS panel. All right. It is 4K UHD, right? So this is going to give you upwards into the 3000s resolutions uh, with the 4K IPS uh, 28 inch is really what it is. Um, and by the way, let's take a moment, guys. Um, you know, if you're watching my videos, if you like it, if you have not yet subscribed, I do encourage uh, to do so below the video. Um, if you have not, if you have, great. But if you have not, uh, come over to my website. You'll see here at Hernandez Affordable Products that I'm doing my very best to create a lot of product reviews on some of the products I recommend some of the latest products, some that I use, some that I work on for customers, and overall, those that I recommend, and they are affordable. And you're welcome to subscribe right here for exclusive access to my newsletter. If you look at the picture on this, this bezel as design really, really delivers stunning images. It composes 8 million pixels um, and even more um, detail, experience, on parallel realism, when gaming, look at this, or enjoying movies, right? And you can see this from any angle. That's the whole thing about the conventional TN panel and the IPS panel is that you can view this from any angle. So let's put that to the test. If we move it from the side here like this, you can see it, this side like this. You can see it as well. So again, it doesn't really affect it. No matter where you look at it from, right? You're still going to be able to enjoy that picture, right? If I look at it from the side here, you can really see that it's not thick. It looks elegant back there. Very, very thin like. It's a flat screen at the end of the day. And that bezel is, you can see it even on the angle like this. Uh, you can still see the picture on the monitor. Bring a little closer from the other end. Same idea, right? 
So it really just kind of sits nicely on the desk. Something else too that I noticed that when it's actually on, you do not see that LED light on. So that's obviously only when it's off. So if I turn it off right now, for example, let's just go ahead and press that in. And by the way, let's talk a little bit about these features here. It only has a button, as you can see under there. And this button, what it does is that it enables different functionalities. If you press it in, it allows you to kind of, you know, wobble it around. It's almost like your Xbox controller wheel, if you will, right? You wheel it up, down, left, and right. And then it goes into the different setting options. I hear I'm on the settings. You power it off, source, and picture in picture feature, right? And so on. I'm gonna go into menu like this. I'm on the picture. And, um, you know, you have the different, right? This thing has game mode, which I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh, look, look what it did to the, to the picture of this. See that? It just really enhances the look. So it does offer you that game mode, which I'm gonna enable that really quick. All right, and so for right now, I'm gonna kinda of hit back here. And uh, let me go ahead and go back to menu one more time. I saw the black level on low. I'm gonna go ahead and make that high or normal. There it is. All right, and get out. So the game is ready. I'm just gonna kind of launch it really quick, see what it looks like color-wise. We don't gotta really, you know, do a whole gameplay right now. Which by the way, guys, anything gaming related, uh, if you're into gaming, I do a lot of gaming videos on me playing, but also I do like custom builds. And also do a lot of customizations to my console, to my desktop, my laptop, where I add memory, video cards, all of that. You'll see that on my um, Elite Gaming channel. Look at that. The audio is working. You can see that in the background. Here in the background. The World Liberation Army's attack on Venice was a cover. you got to believe me. And even though, guys, this is not really utilizing a 4K GPU or an actual graphics card, just because that computer I have right now is not really set up at this moment, uh, for the most part, you can just really see the colors on this are amazing. I mean, I don't have to even explain it. You can see it for yourself. Really, really looks great. Let that low for just a moment so we can kind of really see for ourselves. All right, we just kind of hop on here just to kind of get a feel for it. I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights really quick so we can get a better focus on the monitor. Let me see if that's better. That's a little bit more focused. Just look at the pictures on that, guys. And again, this is not really even pulling that sort of graphic that we want, but overall, when you look at colors, it's just really, really nice. I mean, for the most part, it's not bad. Go ahead and get out here. Yeah, you know, the graphics is not great on this, but for the most part, it's, it's what we want, right? Just to look at the colors, the picture. Got the leader. The monitor looks great. Um, it really, really does look great. There you have it, guys. Um, the Samsung UR55. Uh, it's a 28 inch. This is an IPS 4K monitor. Looks beautiful. Is elegant. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for the support. 
Uh, go ahead and buy it for yourself. Post comments, questions, whatever, so I can engage with you. Subscribe if you have not to my channel and also to my website for exclusive access to my content. And again, I look forward to my next video.